Hey everyone, it's Elizabeth with Beauty of Selah. Thank you so much for joining me today so I can show you how to make a to-do list in Trello. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get lots of tips and tricks for organizing your blog. And if you don't know how to use Trello, make sure to check out my how to use Trello for your blog video on my YouTube channel and I'll make sure to link to it below. Alright, so we're going to create a new list, or excuse me, a new board and we're going to name it to do and we're going to change our background let's see this one is bright and colorful so we'll just use this all right now I have a pretty extensive to-do list and I like to break it down into the things that I um, can do when I can do them. So um, what I like to do um, is first make a list of commitments I've made because I feel like a commitment is most important. Um, and then I have an everything list. So say I'm in the middle of my day and I'm not sitting down to blog, but I think it's something that I need to do. I will just select a card and add something to this list. So update a post, um, email person back. Um, say I noticed a broken link on my site that needs to be fixed or um, I need to promote a post. So this list gets filled up really fast, um, but then I like to take this list and break it down into how fast things can get done. So um, I make a done list. I like that to be in all caps because it's important. And then I will make list based on how long they take. So I have a 10 minute or less list, less than 30 minutes. Oops. Less than an hour. And an hour or more. So if, say, I have 10 minutes that I can sit down and do something on my blog, then I am going to do what's on this list. Um, and I'm just going to show you how I choose what to do. So um, say I have a huge list on my everything list. What I like to do is add labels. So we'll just go into more and labels here. And... I name these labels by their importance. So for yellow, I put it can wait. For orange, I put semi important. And for red, I put important, meaning it needs to be done first. Um, and I like having a done label too, um, even though. I move things around a lot. I still like having a label because I like labeling everything. Um, so I will label these. Um, in my introduction to Trello for your blog video, I show different ways to add labels. I'm just going to use my favorite way, which is using short keys. So um, all of these correspond to numbers. So green is number one, yellow is number two, orange is number three, and so on. So we'll say that this is really important. So I'm going to hover over it and click four. We'll say this is semi-important. This is very important and this can wait. Um, so emailing a person back, um, once I have these done, I start moving them over to their lists. So I'll move this over to 10 minutes or less. Um, a broken link, 10 minutes or less, update a post could be less than 30 minutes and every and promote a post um, could be 10 minutes or less um, once these are done then I will move them over to the done list 
Um, now you can also click on your labels and it can show you what all of these say. You can open up your cards and add comments. So say this is promote a post. So let's say I want to promote it on um, Facebook and Pinterest. I can add a checklist in here and we'll put Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Google Plus, Um, and then you can check them off when you're done and it'll show you that they've been checked off. Also in my to-do list I create um, things that are on that wouldn't really fit into these categories but need to be in my to-do list like I have a list of pins to make so I make multiple pins for my posts um, and I have it right in between commitments I've made and everything list. And I just have a list of all my posts um, that need new pins. Um, and then when those are done, I will move them over to the done folder also. Um, when these are filled up, if I have any time, I organize them by their labels. Um, so I'll put the red up at the top for most important and then orange for semi-important and then as it gets lower down on the list it'll be the yellow labels that say it can wait. Alright I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Again this is Elizabeth from Beauty of Selah, the maker of the manual pinning organization course in Trello. Make sure to grab my course if you want to finally organize your pins. I also just created a Facebook group called the Organized Block Society. I'd love for you to join and I'll link to it below. Talk to you guys soon.